What's up guys, it's your boy Dylan. Just wanna let you guys know, I just received these Snoopa M1. It actually came packaged in some bubble wrap and it was actually very protected. Um, there's no damages to the box, but just to start off first, the packaging is pretty amazing. We're gonna first, it's a little latch over here, bring that up, and you're able to peel it backwards. Now as you can see, it has the iPhone off, but once you peel it back, iPhone looks like it turns on, that's pretty cool, that's great marketing right there, kind of shows what the item does. So this pretty much goes all the way around. I got stuck over here, so let's see what's happening. Ah, there we go. There we go. All the way around. So you remove this part. Now this leaves you pretty much with the box. You've got a nice removable top. Kind of like if you really think about it, the GoPro. What I do like about it is even though you can remove this top, they actually have some package in here, so you're not really damaging the box fully. You remove this, you've got the inner case. And if I take this out, that's pretty much the box. Got a little, it's the same gimbal hole in the smartphone, nothing inside. You've got a QR code, I'm guessing that's to scan the app. I was gonna block it, but then I realized it says Snoop app. So here we go, that's that part. Let's see what we've got here. So you've got here a nice, kind of like a foam, very hard foam case. It says Snopa on it. Nice and gray. Two little opening areas. I'm guessing that would be to bring these open. So let's see what's inside. I'll open it this way for you guys. Ah, oh, sweet. This is really cool. It's kind of like a packaging case. We've got on this side, these are gonna be your weights, the magnets. Very heavy. And you've got here, looks like a micro USB. And you've got, lastly, the handheld itself. It's just showing you where the phone's gonna go. This part again is telling you about caution, about getting your fingers nipped. Has Snoop in the front, got their company logo. Looks like I can just attach this to any tripod, which is amazing. So I appreciate that, Snoop. Let's see how does this go on. Uh, well, that, this is plastic in the bottom, so I'm guessing that snaps in. Guys, what I'll do is, I don't wanna review a product if it's not fully charged. So I'm gonna give this about um, two hours of charging and uh, I'll come back this afternoon and I will finish this review. So um, thanks again. Um, hope you guys stick around and watch the end. But this is the uh, Snopa M1. You've got this area that talks about the gimbal. This area falls down. The quality of it feels good. I know a lot of you guys doubted the company um, on if they are legit. They are legit, legit guys. I actually saw this company at CES. 
the uh, you know the owner was very nice they were very friendly you know they were working hard to make us a quality product software I can see that Snoop has spent a lot of time developing their software application so I'm gonna to one subscriber I should say but stick around I'm gonna quickly review this app and uh, get this Snoop a charge so two hours have passed let's see how this is gonna work um, I've got my iPhone 7 Plus open the Snoopa app now as I mentioned before it has this little alignment bar here which is great because it actually tells you how you should be aligning this so if I do that see I'll just show you guys really quick so I'm just going to show you guys a few things so what we've got here is the fold foldable mobile hold holder this can go from 58 mm to all the way it can expand to 85 mm so those who have the larger phones I had mentioned to you guys before about the weights so because I have an iPhone 7 plus I have to use both counterweights in here um, there is as you go through the app it will kind of tell you which weight will work um, you know which weight will work with which device depending on which phone you have so just to show you right here this is the roll right We've got the pan, and then you've got the tilt. You've also got, you can also hold it this way, which is great. So I've seen them do this in some of the videos. It also has a micro USB and a one fourth screw. So you've got a micro USB in the bottom, and you've also got a one fourth screw mount, which is gonna be at the bottom of your handle, which is perfectly nice. Now, to start this up, what we want to do is, you're going to press this once, you're going to get that blinking light, and then you're going to hold it down for a few seconds. And there we go. We're pretty much, see? Perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing. If you haven't subscribed as yet, please do so. I am going to spend some time, get to understand the Snoop M1, and then I will do a full review of it. Great. Talk soon, guys. Take care.